Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about ping adapters. It's pretty self-explanatory when you have them in hand, but for those of you that might not have a ping adapter right there in front of you, let me show you the ping adapter here. This is the 410 adapter. It's 2020, COVID 2020, the COVID-19 2020 lockdown is going on right now, so I have some free time. Looking at a ping adapter, the first thing you wanna notice is this circle right here. This is the standard position. It says ping right here. If this is filled, it can be filled, filled with gray, kind of a honeycomb pattern, a wheel. Uh, it looks like a really thick plus sometimes. If it's filled, it's the left-handed adapter. So this is the right-handed adapter because that's a hollow circle. It says ping right here. So we're gonna count the settings here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we get back to the standard setting. So there are eight settings here. You can see what they are right here. Plus one, plus 1.5 minus the same, and then you have the flat lies minus or plus the flat lie. So it's pretty nice. I mean, I like the rubber ferrule. Thank you, Ping, for doing this. It's attached, so it stays on there, and you don't have to worry about plastic ferrules and then separating. It's just so nice, so I really like that. This one, you always have to check when you purchase anything, but this one came with the screw. Uh, I'm gonna leave it off here and you'll see here in a second. So let's compare this to the previous model ping adapter. So again, let's look at this one. So first thing we do, we look here, it's hollow. So this is a right-handed model. It says ping right here. And let's count how many settings there are. So we have the standard, two, three. Let's try this again, see if I can be a little less shaky. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, Nope, that's just five right there, and then we get back to the standard. So with five, you get an odd number. So you get these goofy numbers like plus and minus 0.6. All right, is that ideal? Maybe not, but they stuck with that for several years. As you can see, I don't know what this is. This is a, um, a Ping G3 wood, 16 degree SF tech. Just grab this out of the shop here. And you know, you line it up here with the alignment line right here and you can see how snug that fits, okay? So obviously, the previous adapter fits the previous wood models. If you take the 410 model right here and you try to put it in here, it doesn't fit snugly. Can you see that? So it just won't fit. So obviously, you're not gonna fit those eight little fluted portions into a wood head that's designed to take a five fluted, I don't know if that's the right word, adapter okay so not compatible but i'm glad that they moved to an eight-sided option here really happy with the new ping adapter now there's always somebody who's going to criticize them with something really obnoxious like i don't know not to name any names but i can think of other companies that i don't know don't have to change their adapters because they got it right the first time ping no, I'm, I, need to be, I need to be nice to Ping because I really like the new adapter. I'm glad they went with it. But I need to show you this, speaking of COVID and cleaning. I dug this out of my old bags. Do you remember the old Titleist 910 performance guide? Anyway, this is not a Titleist video, it's a Ping video. So let me know your thoughts about the Ping adapter. Good luck, bad luck with adapters. Is there one that you prefer? Would you not buy a certain brand because of their adapter? Interested to read. Be sure to subscribe and visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. I am an Amazon associate. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golf.